hello everyone i hope everyone is doing great and i hope you people are enjoying our videos so today we are here again with one more interview experience so if you want to know like what is the interview process at tetrasoft or what kind of interview questions that are being asked at tetrasoft so this video is for you so in this video i'll be explaining you the interview process that i have underwent at tetrasoft and the interview questions which i have got like which i have faced at the interview process like different interview rounds so i i feel that this is one of the strangest interview experience i would say i, I will tell why if you uh, you watch the video you will come to know like why i am saying that this is one of the strangest interview experience so before that i would like to before getting into that i would like to tell you like how i got shortlisted so i got a call from one of the recruiting consultancy in hyderabad and there we had a discussion about the package details and the experience they were looking out for and what kind of mandatory, mandatory skill set they were looking out for so as i luckily matched all the mandatory skill set and the experience level so i have called for have been called for the face to face technical discussions so coming to the interview process so there were two technical rounds and after that uh, there was one tech lead or you can say like manager round kind of question interview so this were the in about the interview process so before getting into the interview questions i would like to give a short introduction of ourselves like who are we what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who are attending the interviews with different mnc's and sharing our interview experiences through these videos and you can see that uh, you can visit our channel and see like list of the mnc's interview experiences or interview questions that we have already shared and if you haven't subscribed it you feel free to subscribe it or please do share it to other channels so that it may be helpful to someone who is looking out for similar kind of videos and one more thing to add on is like if you want to contribute feel free to contribute or in the description our email id is mentioned so coming to the interview questions firstly i will go with the round one interview questions so first question was a coding questions so this was a question that was given to me write a code which will sort the array based on the second name so i have given the sample name and sample output as well so i have used here uh, like a array of strings and you need to concatenate like you need to basically split the string with the help of space and then you need to get the second number second name sorry and then you need to sort based on the second name so if you look at the input rahul gandhi narendra modi mamta banerji so when i sort it the output would be like mamta banerji rahul gandhi and narendra modi so this was a question that was given to me so it was a bit of uh, intermediate uh, i would say the difficulty was an intermediate or medium i would say so coming to the next question write a code to break the single term principle of a class so the singleton principle of a class can be breaked in three ways uh, as far as i remember uh, if that those are like reflection using reflection api we can break the singleton principle and deserialization and cloning these are the three things uh, which can, which are used to break the singleton principle i believe and if it are any other things feel free to comment in the comment section so that others may be knowing that and even we it would be a learning opportunity for us also coming to the next question explain why singleton pattern in multi threaded environment like like how you will design a singleton pattern in multi threaded environment and why do double checking lock is required so uh, i have explained him in detail like what is the uh, what is singleton uh, uh, like how we have to design a singleton class in a, when we are having multiple multi threaded environment and the importance of double level checking lock because whenever uh the get instance method is called sync uh, like asynchronous synchronously so at that time there are chances that two objects getting created so for that purpose we need to uh, have a double check so explain that next question was how hash code and equals work what is its significance what are the relative relative condition between hash code and equals method so explain him in detail like what is the importance of hash code and equals method coming to like t i have uh, taken the example of hash map and explain him like what role they they these two methods plays while inserting and retrieving the objects from hash map 
and coming to the relative condition it, it is like whenever the two if if two hash codes are equal then there are chances that the objects may, may might not be equal but if at all the objects are equal then their hash code must be equal so that this is a relative condition between hash code and equals method and next question was uh, like complete uh, collection hierarchy he was expecting me to write down and explain each and every class like what when i will go for which class and he was giving me some scenarios as well like in which scenario i'll go with what so and there were questions on differences between like hash map and hash set linked list and array list these were the questions and why hash uh, like map uh, map interface is not included in collection hierarchy as well so these were type of typical questions he was expecting uh, asking me there you can expect the similar questions there so next question was explain the working of concurrent hash map so i was well prepared with this as i as i have encountered this question in different interviews as well so i was very much uh, uh what i can say like it was an easy easy question for me because i was facing in each and every interview question the, the same question i was facing so i was able to explain in detail like how the concurrent hash map works based on segments then the next question is what is immutable class create an immutable class so explain in detail like what is the immutable class like what benefits we get by having an immutable class and then later on write written the code to create our own customized immutable class then there was a question on comparator like sorting uh, using comparator with lambdas so explain in detail like how can how lambdas uh, lambda expression is helping out us like how the code get reduced when we use lambda expressions while comparator when while well, we are using it with comparator on sorting the next question was on explain the solid principle so i have explained him de in detail like what all are solid principle like what importance it it, it has in java and and, and each and every thing i have explained him like what's ssh stand for and all those things then there was a deep discussion on like exception handling uh, like he was asking me like what are the different uh, exceptions we need to handle why so and so exce exceptions needs to handle and when we need to throw an exception when we need to handle the exception and what is the importance of like throws and throw and everything like complete uh, uh what can i say complete exception handling concept he was asking me the questions then there was another deep discussion on threads concept like what all frameworks of thread what is the importance of thread why should we go for multi-threading and in which scenario we need to go in with multi-threading environment like that then there was a question like there was a coding question like create your own asset class so firstly he asked me like how asset works internally so i am i have explained him in detail like hash map asset inter, uh, internally works with the help of hash map then he asked me to create my own hash map class hash set class so i have created the hash set class here so with this uh, these were the questions that were asked me in round one then upon clearing the round one i was uh, called for round two questions so in the upcoming slides i will be sharing the round two interview questions so like basically uh, in the round two uh, the questions were out on spring and hibernate like mostly the questions were on frameworks so coming to the questions so first question was like explain how spring boot works internally so explain him in detail by diagram uh, by writing the code and explain uh, like code and few class diagrams and explaining like how internally the spring boot works like what will happen when we do run as run as java application so the the next question was on spring ioc and spring di it's like what is ioc and what is di and how they are interrelated to each other what is the importance of both the things in spring and like, like what advantages they are providing to spring and coming to the next question it was like what modules i have what modules of spring i have worked so i have explained you know all the different modules that uh, i have worked and there were few cross questions for why only on these particular modules i have worked so i have said that i never got an opportunity because of my project requirement was those all on those modules so i couldn't get a chance to work on all the modules 
then there was a question on explain different types of transaction management spring supports so spring support two types of transaction management like one is programmatic and one is declarative and there was one more question on this like in which scenario we should use programmatic and which scenario we should go with declarative thing so the next question was on what all annotations have you used in your project so what all annotations i remembered at that moment i have i told him and he was expecting me to explain him in detail about each and every uh, annotation and its advantages it is providing so i have explained i have to explain that also in detail next question was on explain aop like spring aop and its benefits so to be honest uh, in only one of my pro one of my project i have worked on spring aop and i was not that much sure on this answer so the i couldn't answer this as expected by the interviewer to be honest next question was how can we handle exceptions in spring so there are different ways one can handle exceptions in spring like you can use a direct controller advice as well you can use uh, customized inbuilt uh, customized classes or inbuilt spring classes to handle the exceptions then there were questions on parent and child being like what will happen if you are not mentioning the scope of the child class what uh, scope it will take and all such kind of questions were asked me so be well prepared on this type of questions and next question was on what do you think is hibernate so i have explained him like what is hibernate what i feel hibernate is what is uh, like uh, basically it is in a framework ORM framework and I explained him in, like what all uh challenges we were facing before this like when we were using simple jd uh, like we were using normal jdbc and what advantage hibernate is providing upon them then the next question was like what is your understanding of hibernate proxy so i have explained him in like to be to keep it simple hibernate creates a proxy like it is a subclass instead of querying the database directly and directly the proxy will load the real object from the database whenever method is called so to be simple i have answered it in that way you can have your own answer the next question is can you explain the hibernate callback interface so hibernate callback interface allows the application to receive a notification when something interestingly happens to an object like for example when an object is loaded saved or deleted so this comes into picture at that time then there was a question on what are your thoughts on file mapping in hibernate so this is one of the important file like mapping file is one of the important file where you mentioned the relationship between the classes and the uh, tables so i have explained him the same then there was a question on relationships like what are the explain the different types of relationships available in hibernate mapping so there are three typically three relationships that are uh, available in hibernate that is one to one one to many many to many so these were the three things and i have explained him in detail like how can we configure that thing the next question was on explain lazy loading in hibernate so to uh, answer it in simple way lazy fetching decides whether to load child objects while ob loading the parent object itself or not so we need to set this uh, setting in the mapping file like lazy equal to true which means uh, it will not load the child class related to the parent class by default uh, lazy loading is true explain that the next question is like explain the different states of entity bin so the different states are like transient persistent and detached so whenever an object is created it is said to be in the transient phase whenever it is associated associated with any session it is called persistent stage and whenever it is removed from the session it enters into the detached state the next question was on what are the benefits of named sql query so uh, to be honest i couldn't recollect all the advantages of it or the benefits of named query i remembered only few like the compile uh, the compile and validation at the startup of startup time itself app startup time itself will happen so this was one thing i remember and another thing is like uh, easier to maintain than string literals embedded in your code so this were the two things i remember there can be any number of things on this next question on was on hibernate validator like explain what is hibernate validator framework so hibernate validator framework provides many annotations that can be used to validate the input fields of a form or anything against the constant defined on the field so 
these were the typical questions that were asked me in my second round and in the next round i will be sharing you the question that was asked to me in one of the uh, like take lead the third round upon clearing my second round i was called for the third round so in the beginning i have said you right this was one of the strangest interview experience that i have had so i will tell you why so there was only one question that was asked to me in my technical lead or manager round question manager round interview that was explain your project architecture so when he asked me i started explaining him about my current project architecture so he had few questions to which i have replied and interestingly he was not satisfied with the project architecture he is he was saying like why you have used in this way why should why you have not used in that way so for that also i have answered him like see we basically support a client so client said also we are having architects who decide the architecture of the application we are just a service provider company who will be following their guidelines and will build as they as requested by the client so for that answer he was not at all uh, uh, happy and to be honest he with that one question only he rejected me from the interview so that's the reason i am staying in this this is one of the strangest interview experience so be prepared well when you are going like on this type of questions like when you are explaining your project architectures uh, be to be honest i didn't uh, never got rejected on this question like explaining the project architecture could be such big thing so this was the interview questions that were asked to me and coming to the feedback of the interview i was not that much happy with the pro like interview process because uh to be honest i was very good at my both the technical rounds but uh, when came to the explaining project architecture the guy was not happy because my project is not designed according to his standards to so that's the reason i am saying i am negative i have negative feedback on this interview process and coming to the salary range it was like 8 to 14 lakhs years of package 8 to 14 lakhs per annum package uh this was mentioned to me in the mail that i have received from the consultancy itself and experience level of this interview is 5 plus years like 5.2 to be honest exactly so this was about the interview process of tetrasoft and so this is was the process and uh, please do share subscribe like or comment your feedback in the comment section and if you like this video please do share it to the other technical platforms as well so that this may be helpful to someone who is looking out for a similar kind of videos and thank you for watching with this i'll stop